everyone and welcome to this NBA 2K23, my NBA. Every year I usually do a franchise. Doesn't last long sometimes unless I'm like really into it. Hopefully this is one where I'm really into. We are going to be taking on, well not taking on, we are going to be controlling the New York Knicks to try and bring them back to glory. And I already made a trade. But as you can see on the screen, on the left, there is a team that you've never seen before. In real life, they are going to end up expanding the NBA in a few years. So I figured I'd do that right now. And I did expand the NBA. Seattle and Las Vegas are going to get a team. I did not make the Sonics. So it was actually tough to find a Seattle team in the 2K share because all of them are the Sonics. But I found one that looks, I guess, the best. It doesn't look great. Um, but you can already see one. That is Vegas. I'm going to tell you right now, the Vegas uniforms are fun amazing their uniforms logo core is fire um seattle's santa's bleh but i will show you right now if we go oh yeah the pelicans are in the eastern conference by the way now which they probably should be as you can see the las vegas venom and they have i already did the expansion draft and all of that i had 10 players up protected instead of eight um so they have spencer dinwiddie kcp joe ingles javante green and kevin love Along with John Wall, Will Barton, Isaiah Stewart, and Torian Prince. So they have a very, they have like a win now type team. Like I want to make the playoffs now. Um, but that jersey's a fire. I'll show you the uniforms. Then the other team is the Seattle Force. Like I said, super generic. The uniform's okay. Uh, their point guard is Brandon Williams, Jordan Clarkson, uh, Josh Richardson, uh, Darius Basie. So they actually went the young approach. They have a lot of young players. I actually moved Jordan Clarkson to the point guard for them. So they'll actually be somewhat decent and they can also start Kevin Herter. So that is Seattle. And I'm going to show you our team after I show you their uniforms. All right, here are the Seattle Force uniforms. Like I said, super basic, but pretty clean all around. These are their away uniforms. Everything is basically the same. I might change their alternate uniforms because it's just like a black version of their um, other ones. But other than that, pretty much, they're, they're pretty decent. I like them. In general, I might change a bit of Seattle's uniforms. And here are the Venom's uniforms. These white ones are absolutely clean. They are gorgeous. Their away uniforms are the black ones. says Vegas on them. Absolute flames. And their alternate uniform is Red Sin City. Whoever made this, shout out to them because... My god, they are gorgeous. I don't know why Dinwiddie's wearing 2K generics. But yeah, the, the Venom uniforms. I don't, I don't think I'm going to change a thing on these. These are just straight fire. But I, I might change up the Knicks. Not going to lie. Uh, so the way this is going to work is um, I'm not going to play any games. If I jump into a game, I'm just going to watch it. I mainly want to be a GM. So there's going to be a lot of simming in this. And I already made um, a trade, which I'll show you right now. So the trade I made was for Russell Westbrook. Now you may be wondering, why is he making only one mil? Because the Lakers did not protect him. And the Seattle, no, the Venom, I, no, no, I'm sorry. The Seattle Force signed him. That's why that point guard is a 73. And that's why I kind of helped him out. So I had the Force buy him out. And then I signed him in free agency. He only wanted a minimum. He's going to be a free agent anyways. Uh, so I did change. I changed the shot. I want... I want MVP Westbrook back. He's 33 years old. I want him back, and I think he might help us make a playoff push. I changed his shot tendency up to a 95. It was at like a 75. And I took his three-point tendency and knocked that some B down. All the way down. So we have Russell Westbrook, who will be our starting point guard this year. And you might be wondering, didn't they sign Jalen Brunson? They have Brunson listed as a shooting guard. So I'm going to keep it like that. Brunson is going to be our shooting guard. I don't know how well I want to kind of rebuild this team. It will be built around RJ Barrett. I don't expect Julius Randle to stay this season. I will. Depending on how we're doing, Julius Randle will be traded by the trade deadline or in the offseason. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I loaded up the draft class yet. Did I? No, I did not. So I will load that up right now. I think with West Russell Westbrook on our team, I think we'll be a play-in team. Playoffs, I don't know. Play indefinitely, because as you can see, our first game we faced the Pistons in Westbrook. 26 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals. He absolutely balled out. And then also, Randall played really good. Um, So like I said, this is going to be a lot of simming. So each episode, I want to say I'm going to sim half a season in each episode. I just hit my mic, because I'm not going to watch much. Um, So the only thing, I'm going to simcast uh, two expansion team games. 
So we're facing Vegas on their home court. I want to see how it looks in the game. And then we're facing the Seattle Force December 1st. After that, I'm going to sim all the way to the trade deadline. I know usually when it comes to these videos, I used to do like, oh, we'll do small things. Each episode will sim a bit and then end it. No, no, no. I want each episode to be a blockbuster. I want it to stay somewhat realistic. So I have uh, Team Chemistry off, which I'm going to keep off. I have injuries on, but I have it knocked down to five. So not everyone's getting hurt. I turn morale off. I'm thinking about turning morale back on just because. But for now, I am going to keep it off. And then the trading block, RJ Barrett is the only untouchable player. And I'm going to add Julius Randle. And I'm going to add Mitchell Robinson to the trade block. I'm going to add Evan Fournier. And I think I'm going to keep D-Rose. I like D-Rose. I'm going to keep him. But these three, I plan on not having on the team next season. Uh, Mitch Robb, he's a great center. But I don't want to pay him 17 mil. I feel like we can get a better center. A nice a shooting center to uh, pair with Westbrook. But for now, let's go to free agency. And there's one player I want to sign. You may know who it is. That might not. Yeah, see. Mel I want to sign Melo, but he wants way too much. And we don't even have the cap space. So, this might be the time to trade Evan Fournier. Maybe we can free up cap space if we trade him right now. We are actually going to send Evan Fournier packing to the Miami Heat for Duncan Robinson. And they are giving us a second round pick. I know that's not really a salary dump. And Duncan Robinson is making a lot of money for a 74 overall. But I'm not going to flip him because, like I said, I want to keep it somewhat realistic. I don't have the uh, rules on that says you can't trade a player. Um, but we could think of it as a three-team trade. So someone who wants Duncan Robinson, but I don't think there's really any teams that are going to take him. Unless it's a salary dump, like we're sending him to the Thunder for another pick. Like to the Spurs. But I think a first-round pick would have to be attached to it. We don't want Kevin Knox back. Hell no. And we're actually going to do this. We're going to send Duncan Robinson to the Las Vegas Venom. For Joe Ingles, he's only on one-year deal. He's 35. They don't need him. And they're getting a younger player in Duncan Robinson, who can most likely start for them. I'll move him to a small forward if I need to. But we got Joe Ingles. I still don't think we have enough money for Melo. And I don't think we have we have too many players, too, also. So I don't know if there's anyone else on a big contract that I want to dump for no one. Isaiah Hartenstein's making 7 mil. Hell no, bro. Hell no, bro. I'll send you to the Wizards, to be honest. Not for Vernon Carey, because he's a young player that they wouldn't trade. So, uh, do you have someone, like a low overall, that's old? Maybe we want Taj Gibson? Actually, no. We'll take Anthony Gill. We'll take Anthony Gill off your hands for Isaiah Hartenstein, who should help you now. That's a trade I could see. That's pretty realistic. We, we dumped the salary, and we actually need to cut someone still. I forgot about that. Uh, so, we will cut... Um, I guess Daquan Jeffries. Actually, we can assign someone to the G League. That might allow us to sign someone. So we're going to send Quentin Grimes to the G League. Cam Reddish. I like to give him minutes a season. I don't know if I'm gonna. Um, we'll send Jericho Sims to the G League. Yeah, let's see if now if we can sign Carmelo Anthony. I don't even think we have the money. He wants way too much. Still have 15 players? Wow, bro. I thought if you send players to the G League... Okay, so Daquan Jeffries, get off my team. Get off my team. Free agents, Melo. We're probably not even going to have enough money. Nope, not even close. I don't know why he wants 11 mil. I did all that for nothing. But there are some players here. Dennis Schroeder just signed contract with the Lakers. Uh, so he shouldn't be here. It's not worth it to 74 overall. How the mighty have fallen. Um. So yeah, so who did we just trade? I forgot who we traded, but they weren't even getting minutes for us. Um, oh, no, Evan Fournier. Yeah, Evan Fournier wasn't getting minutes for us because Cam Reddish I have in the lineup. So I guess this is the team we're going to run until the trade deadline and see how we're doing. Obi Toppin definitely is not safe. I think we could um, throw him to a team for you, um, that could take a young guy that might want him. Joe Ingles, we might give him minutes. He could be thrown to a contender. He dropped nine points on amazing shooting in his first game. But I really don't want to give him minutes unless there's an injury. But other than that, this is our lineup. That's the lineup we're going to run. Um, Tom Thibodeau is our coach, so our scissor proficiency is defense. That ain't gonna fit with us. Uh, four and a half—I mean, three and a half stars is perimeter centric. So we're gonna do that. I am not gonna fire Tom Thibodeau. Uh, maybe next year, if we have a losing season, I might think about it. But I'm definitely not gonna uh, trade him yet. Not trade him. I'll uh, get rid of him yet. So they already have Jalen Brunson being mentored by Derek Rose. Um, not terrible. I don't know if I want him to be mentored by D-Rose, though. 
Uh, RJ Barrett, I want you to be mentored by Russell Westbrook. Uh, so where is he? Where's Westbrook? There he is. So I'm gonna have you be, I'm gonna have you be what you call it, trained by him. So we'll give him Giant Slayer, and I guess I could really give him playmaking badges. So uh, you know, RJ, RJ can be. I want him to be a ball handler, so we'll give him a floor general and dimer, and then I also gave him giant slayer, so definitely want to set that. Julius Randle, you don't need to be mentored. They have Mitchell Robinson be mentored by Julius Randle, I guess. Emmanuel quickly. I don't think we really have anyone that can mentor you, to be honest. Um, No, not really. We don't have much. Uh, We don't have. Oh, I mean, we could have you be mentored by Joe Ingles and get your defense up. I mean, I'd be fine with that. How, oh god, it went to Westbrook. How's your defense? Where's your defensive badges? Off ball pest, pick dodger, and workhorse, I guess. Or we should give him a playmaking badge. I'll give off, off ball pest, get bailout, and needle threader, I guess. Joe Ingles isn't the greatest. I probably should have maybe signed someone else to um, mentor him, but that's fine. It is what it is. Those are the mentorships, and I think that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, contract extensions are weird in this game. You can't actually uh, extend some people. At least that's why I figured out. Like it's always either like extension status is done, but I can't. I'm hitting X. I can't actually extend him. So it's weird. I don't know why it is like that. 35. Didn't RJ get an extension? Yeah, I'm gonna edit that. RJ got an extension. So it's not in the game yet, I guess. So I'm actually gonna look up his extension. And I'm gonna give that to him. All right, we gave RJ Barrett. RJ. We gave RJ Barrett. His proper extension. And now I think we're ready to simulate. So we're going to simulate to this um, Las Vegas Aces game. And we are starting off one and two. I'm not training for De'Aaron Fox. That doesn't make much sense for right now. I want Russell Westbrook as my point guard. So we have some veteran leadership to try and push us to the playoffs. And we might lose to an expansion team. Can we have a close? We're not even going to have a close game to jump into. Yikes. So I guess we'll jump into another. A uh, game, yeah. This was a this was a bad one, losing to Will Barton and Kevin Love, who's averaging twenty one and nine. So that was not a good game to start off with. So where's the Seattle Force? Let's hope we let's hope we can some jump into this one. And Mitchell Robinson just got hurt. You can play through it. Yeah, see, so you, you can play through it. And Mitchell Robinson got hurt again. So who's gonna be our center? Oh, I didn't think about that. We don't have a backup center. I might need to run Randall at center. Oh boy! All right, I'm gonna have the CPU reorganized, and we we need a center. We need a center bad. So free agency. Uh, let's go to centers. Marcus Aldridge. I guess Hassan Whiteside. To sign as you know that that center. Oh no, nope, not you. Yeah, he's the only center I'm willing to give those minutes to. I guess. I mean, he doesn't really help near Westbrook, but I'd rather have him than Obi Toppin or. Um, Julius Randle there. Julius Randle, I really don't want to give you that many minutes. RJ 35. I want to give 33 to Westbrook. 38. I don't want to give Obi Toppin that many. He's averaging only 6 points. I want to give those to Quickly. He's averaging 11. Joe Ingles. How's Cam doing? He is shooting terrible, but I want to give him those minutes. So we're going to give Cam 13. Got 8 minutes to work with because Hassan's in the lineup. So we'll give like that all right let's simulate to this force game mitch robinson shouldn't be out for that long it's at one to two weeks and we're starting to pick up some wins here all right we're gonna leave rotation as is and let's see what was Hassan doing six points 13 rebounds a block he was playing really good in those minutes so i would definitely take that but you're gonna be subbed out for mitchell robinson and i guess we kind of need you in the rotation so i think i'm gonna take ham reddish minutes away because we we need a backup center so we're going to give Hassan Cam Reddish his minutes. And that is the way we're going to run it. I'm going to give Mitchell Robinson the same minutes as Julius Randle. And let's hope we get no more uh, injuries. Uh, wow, that is an awful pick. Decline that. I mean, an awful trade. Pressures of Chuya and a first for Russell. Wow, a lot of people want Westbrook. I wonder how he's playing. Um, Jalen Brunson got hurt. Yeah, can play. If it says they can play through Mitch, bro. What is going... You are definitely getting traded if you're getting hurt this much. If it says they can play through it, they're playing through it. Just saying. You you are playing through the injury. This is Tom Thibodeau we're talking about here. Mitchell Robinson is injured. Yeah, guess what? You're playing. Wow, we're going to lose another game to an expansion team, aren't we? 
We're going to lose to the Seattle Force. No, we're coming back. And we're going to... Oh, yeah, we're going to blow them out. So this is another game we're not jumping into. RJ Barrett dropped 30. 30 points for the man. Jay Rich dropped 16 for them. Where's Jordan Clarkson? Wow, 2 for 19. He's averaging 18 points, though. And we're currently 12 and 10 on the season, sitting at the 7th seed. Who's won? Not the Bucks and then the Heat. So I kind of want to see how Westbrook's playing so far. Uh, so Russell Westbrook... He's averaging only 16 points a game on bad shooting. I really expected more from you, buddy. RJ Barrett is having an insane year. 25 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists on near 50, 40, 75. Jalen Brunson's only averaging 16. I also, you know, expected a lot from you. Julius Randle, terrible, terrible season. Only 15 points. D. Rose playing good off the bench. Quickly shooting very inefficient. Mitch Robb, he's averaging 2.4 blocks and a steal. But I want a better center. I could try and get a DeAndre Ayton. That'd be a good trade. And look who we're facing. The Phoenix Suns. DeAndre Ayton isn't even having a good season. So that could be a trade we try and make. Ayton for like Mitchell Robinson and a few other pieces. The Miami Heat are playing well. I'm just trying to look around the league. The Heat are my favorite team. Butler's having 27. Yikes. Watch, watch out, league. Uh, so we're going to sim to the trade deadline, I guess. Because there's no one... Nothing really I want to do. Free agents. Mel is still here. Mel is not here. Uh, so that's something. D. Schroed is still here. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to make some trades. I don't want to... Oh, I guess we face Seattle Force again. Now, nah, I'm going to sim straight to the trade deadline. See how we're doing. Mitchell Robinson. I might need to trade him quick before he gets hurt again. I want to see how we're doing. Like, will we be in a playoff picture? Because that will determine the type of trades I make. I will definitely not do that trade. Russell... I'm D'Angelo Russell for... Uh, Jalen Brunson? Hell no. All right, well, we're sitting at 26 and 28 on the season, not in the playoffs. And we have a problem on our hands. Mitchell Robinson's hurt. He's day-to-day -day too, bro. And we can't trade him, right? Because he's technically hurt. Bro, at the trade deadline, you do this to me? You gotta be kidding me. I guarantee you, right, right when we sit past the trade deadline, I guarantee you, it's going to say he's ready to play. That is just so stupid, man. I really want to get him off my team, especially since of how injured he's been. Westbrook is playing a lot better now. RJ Barrett went down. Uh, I'm definitely getting rid of Julius Randle right now. Definitely getting rid of him right now. He needs to go. I still think we can make a playoff push. Pelicans are the number one seed. We are at 11, tied with the Nets for 10. So who do we want to trade Julius Randle to? I want to trade him to the West. The Vegas Aces are the one seed. There is no way this team is the one seed. John Wall is averaging 17. That is unbelievable. They were led by Kevin Love, who is hurt now. But they're the one seed? That, that's honestly wild. That is honestly wild. And the Force, yeah, the Force are terrible, which I expected. But the fact that the Las Vegas Aces are the number one seed, there's no way they... They make it far in the playoffs. No way in hell. I'm not giving you... I mean, it makes sense to give you Julius Randle. Because you're the one seed. You want to upgrade your team. And they're going to have cap space. So I might make a trade with them. If they're really this good. They, they want to make a push this year. I don't know how. Uh, so I, Julius Randle, I might trade him to the Vegas uh, Venom. Because other than that, there's really no other teams. Wow, the Lakers got P.J. Tucker. I bet they'd love that in real life. Uh, there's no other teams that will probably take his contract or even have room for his contract. So definitely, the I don't want to trade him to the East. So definitely the Venom. I want some picks from you. I mean, it's not really going to help us now. But god damn, bro. They are balling. Hey, this is what the new rotation looks like. Westbrook, Brunson, RJ Barrett, Cam Johnson, and DeAndre Ayton. We added some much-needed shooting around Russell Westbrook. Uh, Derrick Rose, Carmelo Anthony. I will move him over to the small forward. Obi Toppin, and then Cam Reddish for now. I guess I'm not going to trade him. I might get a trade done, but Emmanuel quickly is going to take his spot. I'll look around for trades for him because he's on a one-year deal. But if anything, I can always do a sign-in trade. So, you know, yeah, I'm just going to keep him for now. And then I'm going to mess with uh, Cam Johnson's shot tendency. Because I'm sure, yeah, it's only at a 50. So, yeah, that, that ain't happening. We're going to up his shot tendency to probably a 77. 
is what I like. Uh, Mello, we are going to move your position to a small forward. And done. So that is our trade deadline move. I wish we could do things where if we trade for a player, we can um, give him an extension like Cam Johnson. We can agree on an extension since we just traded for him. And I just realized you do not have a backup center. So I'm going to go to free agency and sign one. Uh, just because Tristan Thompson will sign you to a one-year deal. Just to have the center insurance. And yeah, we're gonna sim we'll simulate through this these two games. Um, and then we'll see you in the next episode where we'll see. Oh, okay. Manual Cook is back. Where we'll see how this team uh, performs with the new roster. Uh, like I said, the center play, lack of center play is not great. But I guess Obi Toppin can come in for some backup center. I'm hoping. <laughs> and we'll simulate these two games. We already made our trades. We lose by a lot to the Cavs, and we lose by a lot to the Heat. Wow. We put up not even 90 points in both games. Russell Westbrook, 20 points, 8 and 16 on terrible shooting in the Heat. We let Old Depot drop 26 on us, and we only put up 79. Well, let's let's simulate to the All-Star break, and uh, let's... Oh, my God. We are terrible. Good thing we didn't give up a pick this year. We beat the Suns, though. Billy Randall dropped 21 on us. RJ Barrett had a good game. Wes Rusberg had a triple-double. We lose by two to the Pelicans. RJ Barrett, good game. And then the Magic, we beat. Cam Johnson had a good game, 28 points. RJ Barrett, Russell Westbrook. All right, well, trade's not great. Uh, We're trying to fight for a play, and the East is really good this year. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.